Hello everyone. People are fond of eating cakes during various occasions like birthdays, weddings. So in today's session, I'll talk about what are cakes, what are the different types of cakes, and how we can make those cakes. When we talk about bakery and confectionery, cakes are the first things that come to our mind. The spongy cakes packed with whipped cream and delicious flavors. Most of the cakes that are patented were made in old hotels and pastry shops and are known as classical cakes. Nowadays, with more and more experimenting chefs around, it is very common to see a fusion of flavors from around the world, like a French cream cake flavored with lemongrass from Thailand. This category of cakes is known as contemporary cakes. Preparing a cake is a skill that requires a lot of precision when it comes to intricate details such as measurement and the quality of ingredients being used. The base of a cake can be either a sponge or thin layers of flaky pastry or other ingredients such as crushed biscuits. Sponge cakes are also so called because their texture resembles a sponge with well distributed holes that are formed when the air trapped in the batter while folding gets released as the cake bakes. The gluten in the flour helps the cake to retain its shape while the air escapes leaving the holes behind. Many sponges can be served on their own but most of them are used as bases for classical cakes and other desserts. While talking about the types of cakes, there are two types of cakes. One is shortened and the other is unshortened. Shortened are sometimes called the butter cakes and the unshortened sometimes are called the foam cakes. Shortened cakes have the butter content or the fat content in them but on the contrary unshortened doesn't contain any fat. Shortened cakes are tender, moist and velvety in texture. Unshortened cakes are light and very fluffy. The examples of unshortened cakes can be angel food cake, sponge cake and chiffon cake. The components of cakes includes flour, sugar, eggs, liquid, salt. Flour gives structure to the cakes. We prefer to use all-purpose flour and cake flour for making various cakes. Cakes made with cake flour are more delicate and tender. Cake flour is ground finer than all-purpose flour and has a very lower protein content that is the less development of the gluten. If we talk about sugar, sugar gives sweetness to our cakes. The most preferred sugar are white refined sugar or the brown sugar. Sugar tenderizes the gluten. It also improves the texture of the cake. Eggs they improve the flavor and the color of the cake. They coagulate or the coagulated proteins add structure to the cake. In angel food cake and the sponge cakes, the eggs act as a leaveners. They help in giving volume. Liquids Liquids provide moisture and help binding the ingredients together. Examples of the liquids used are milk, buttermilk, sour milk, fruit juices or even water. Then comes salt. Salt helps in providing flavor to the cake. Other components of cakes are fat, leavening agents, emulsifiers and flavorings. Fat it tenderizes the gluten present in the flour. The example of the fat that we use are butter, margarine, 
hydrogenated vegetable shortening leavening agents are those that give or provide volume to the product and makes the cake rise most of the shortened cakes uses the leavening agents such as baking powder baking soda and sour milk emulsifiers these are the stabilizers that are used to help keep the batter from breaking down flavorings they are the optional components the examples of the flavorings that you can use are spices extracts fruits nuts poppy seeds coconut etc let's discuss about shortened cakes shortened cakes are those which contain fat such as butter margarine or shortening using of this fat or containing this fat or shortening has given the name shortened cakes pound cakes are a type of shortened cakes that do not contain a chemical leavening agent a pound cake which is originated in europe is the first half of the 18th century initially weighed 4 pounds that's because it is called a pound for each of the four ingredients that were used in making the pound cake that were flour butter eggs and sugar that is why its name came forward as a pound cake because each of these ingredients were used as a quantity with 1 pound each so in total 4 pounds makes a 1 pound cake most of the shortened cakes are leavened by using a baking powder or baking soda let's discuss about the various methods for preparing shortened cakes there are two methods used to prepare shortened cakes the first one is the conventional or the standard or the creaming method and the second one is one bowl method in conventional method or standard method it is also called the creaming method we cream the fat and sugar until they are light and fluffy then we add eggs one at a time beating well after each addition alternately add the flour mixture and the liquid and fold the batter the one bowl method is also known as quick method or blending method when you do the one bowl method you mix the dry ingredients together in the bowl and then add the softened fat plus some of the liquid all that is mixed together until the dry ingredients are well coated with fat then the remaining of the liquid goes in and then it is done it's a little like the biscuit method but with more thorough blending and more agitation the things you need to follow while doing pan preparation are baking pans are usually coated with fat and flour or lined with parchment paper or butter paper this is done so that the batter will not stick to the pan commercial pan preparations are also available such as the aluminum stuff pan should be filled 1/2 to 2/3 full it should not be filled to the top otherwise during baking the batter will overflow and will come out of the pan spread the batter evenly with an offset spatula scaling cake batters before baking when making multiple cakes or multi layer cakes fill the pans to the same level so as to maintain evenness pans should be filled as soon as possible after mixing is complete 
so that air cells in the batter will not collapse. Have the pans prepared before mixing the batter. Few points you need to remember while baking are place your pans in the oven with even gap so that the heat circulates freely around the cake and cooking it properly and evenly. The pans should not touch each other or any part of the oven. This is because it creates hot spots and the cake will bake unevenly. The doneness can be tested by using a wooden toothpick or a cake tester when inserted into the center of the cake should come out clean. The sponge will be springy. The center of the cake on the top will spring back lightly. Cake pulls slightly away from the sides of the pan during and after baking. The points that needs to be remembered for cooling and removing the cake from the pan are Cool the cake for 15 minutes in the pan and then turn out when slightly warm. If removed from the mold when just baked, they will be too hot and has the tendency to break. Place the sponge onto cooling rack for proper circulation of air. If they are not cooled on the cooling racks, the moisture will accumulate in the base resulting a soggy cake. Now let's discuss about unshortened cakes. Unshortened cakes are sometimes also called foam cakes and they contain no fat. They are leavened by air which is beaten into eggs and by steam which forms during baking. The examples of the unshortened cakes are angel food cake and the sponge cakes. The difference between these two is the egg content. Angel food cake contains just egg white whereas sponge cakes contain the whole eggs. The method of preparation for angel food cakes include Egg whites are stiffly beaten with sugar. Cream of tartar may be used and is sifted with the flour and carefully folded in the mixture. This is traditionally baked in tube shaped ring mold. The things to remember while preparing angel food cakes are The ingredients should be at room temperature. The egg whites that are cold will not achieve maximum volume when beaten. Angel food cakes. Angel food cake is airy and because of its lightness and its pure white color it is said to be the food of the angels. This cake has no egg yolks, fat or artificial leavener therefore it relies totally on stiffly beaten egg whites for leavening. Its sole ingredients are egg whites, cream of tartar, sugar, flour, salt and flavorings such as fruit extracts and essences. Angel food cakes has the higher sugar content of all the sponge cakes and this added sugar is needed to support and stabilize the whipped egg whites. The other interesting types of cakes includes chiffon cakes. Chiffon cakes are a cross between shortened and unshortened cakes. They contain a fat like shortened cakes and beaten egg whites like unshortened cakes. Chiffon cake is a very light and airy sponge that has characteristics of both butter cake and a sponge. Its texture of a sponge makes it much desirable to a sweet tooth. Though unlike butter cakes, chiffon cakes use oil and whipped egg whites are used to provide the aeration along with the baking powder that gives, that gives it a sponge based texture. It is fairly quick 
to make this cake as a batter is made by combining oil, raising agent and flour and whipped egg whites are folded in. For the preparation of chiffon cakes, sift all the dry ingredients together, whisk the egg yolks with sugar until light and creamy. Add oil and fold in the flour. Make a meringue with egg whites and remaining sugar and carefully fold in the flour and oil mixture. Traditionally, chiffon cakes are baked in tube shaped round molds. Cakes are a form of sweet food made from flour, sugar and other ingredients that is usually baked. In their older forms, cakes were modifications of breads but cakes now cover a wide range of preparations that can be simple or elaborate and that share features with other desserts such as pastries, meringues, custards and pies. Thank you for listening.